breaking the leaves into piles. Look. And the boys are having fun jumping. Whoa! We finally got enough leaves on the ground to make leaf piles. Apple, we can jump in them. See? Yeah. <laughs> Boys yeah, love boy. jumping in the leaves. We have quite a bit more in our backyard. It's actually not too bad. I just raked like from, oh gosh, from like there on. This is what we got. But our back door neighbors have so much more leaves. I feel so bad for them. The wind keeps blowing in our favor. This is my leaf pack. Okay. But in our city, um, you just have to rake your leaves to like the curb and then they have a truck that comes by every other week and sucks all the leaves up. So that's why I have them down here. In our old house, we had to bag the leaves, but this one we just rake it to the curb. And it's even nicer because we are a corner house and so we just rake everything straight to the curb. Watch out for, don't run over your, your jacket. Why? Because it'll be hard to do. <gasps> Avery Green. Hi. Welcome to Avery. Hi, Avery Green. I had to bring Avery out because you guys, it is 70 out. It's November, what is it, 5th? Six and it's 70 today. Very windy, but we have enough leaves to make our leaf pile. Check it out. Yep, we've been raking the leaves. This is the boys' favorite thing to do is take the rake and rake leaves. Well, I had a good leaf pile going and then Porter kind of got to it, but and we love jumping, you know? Yep. Usually I just take the leaf blower once a day and just kind of go over the grass. And then here's our big leaf piles down at the corner. Almost. But I brought Avery out and I put some leaves on her blanket just so she could feel a different texture. And she's liking it. I put a little blanket because it is a little windy. But I don't think she's too cold. <laughs> wow, Avery. What do you see? Oh, Grayson, it's your turn. Thank you for sharing, Porter. Break the pile back together so you guys can jump. Yeah, like that. There you go. I'm sorry that. Yeah, like Porter does. Porter loves to be my helper outside. Huh. Yeah. So anyway, we're just hanging out. Sorry if it's super loud and windy in the camera. It's super windy today. Seems like in the cold months, if we get a unusually warm day, it's always accompanied by huge wind just is what it is but it really I really don't mind it because it's really not that bad I'm wearing a coat but I honestly don't even need it it's pretty warm the sun was out this morning and it felt even better now it's just cloudy it's not supposed to rain but anyway that's our weather report <laughs> but this is day two of daylight savings we fell back an hour it's really been rough um, Avery's actually been doing pretty well. The first day she woke up at like 6 a.m., which would have been like 7 a.m., but it was 6 a.m. with the time change. Today she did better. She woke up at like 7, so that was good. But the boys have been extra moody and emotional, and I always see that happen because like we're keeping them up an hour later, but they're still getting up at the normal time, which is like an hour earlier than what they should be. Porter's been super emotional and Grayson a little too. Um, and yesterday I felt like was the longest day ever. <laughs> Daylight savings with kids is no joke. It's hard. But thankfully Avery's not on too much of a schedule. She's still kind of all over the place. So it wasn't too hard to get her accustomed. It was just kind of the boys that are kind of having a hard time with it. Grayson had school today, but he doesn't have school tomorrow because tomorrow is election day. So all the teachers are doing a professional development day. So I have all the kids home tomorrow. 
Hope I survive that. Also, exciting news. My brother and sister-in-law are in the hospital right now because they are about to have their baby. Um, my sister-in-law is 39 weeks today. So she went into labor one week early on her own. Um, and then they're at the hospital. She's gotten an epidural and they're just kind of waiting for him to make his appearance. It's very exciting. Sometime today, they'll probably have their baby and then my kids will have another cousin and I'll have my first nephew. So we're gonna name him Camden. So yeah, very exciting. We're just kind of waiting to hear um, when the baby's gonna come. And then of course we'll go and probably go tomorrow and see the baby, um, not with the kids, just Anthony and I. So super exciting. They're very excited to have their baby. It's their first and we kind of call my baby, my sister Allison's baby Ivy, and then this new baby Camden, the triplets, because they're all born within the same year. So once they turn like two or three, they're literally gonna look the same age. It's gonna be awesome. So super excited about that, but we've just kind of been hanging out, about to make dinner, and then Grayson has swim tonight, so we're gonna do that and try to survive tomorrow. When I go back inside, I'll give you guys an update on thankful turkeys. Spoiler alert, I made the thankful turkey. Well, I think you guys saw, because Grace said my family, which I think counts, and Porter said like mommy and daddy. But they've added a couple things. I think we're on, well, yeah, today's the six, so we're on day six of thankful turkey. Will we make it all the way to Thanksgiving? Probably not. I'll probably get annoyed with trying to stick them all on the turkey, but for now, the boys are enjoying it. And now we're playing soccer. Ready, Porter? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And Avery's just watching. Go, Avery! Ready, Porter? Ready. Woo! Right here. Grayson and Porter. Guess what? What? Guess who came last night. What? Ellie had her baby. What? Was the baby boy or girl? It was a boy. You have a new cousin. I think Ellie's baby was a boy. Yeah, it was a boy. His name is Camden. Yes, you have a new cousin. His name is Camden. We now we have two cousins. Yeah, that's right. You have Ivy and now you have Camden. Philip and Ellie had their baby. <laughs> Camden. Yeah. And Camden is Camden's baby's Camden's. Camden's cousins are Ivy and their baby Avery. That's right. And Isn't that so cool? Yeah. So yes, it's the next day. It's the morning. That's why I'm looking like this. But my brother and sister-in-law had their baby late last night. They ended up laboring for like 48 hours. It was a really long labor. Um, but everything is good. He came at like 9.30 last night. He's a big boy. He's like eight pounds and he was a week early. Our biggest baby was Porter and he was eight pounds, three ounces, and he was a week overdue. <laughs> so they're super excited. Anthony and I are going to go see him tonight after Anthony gets off of work. This time the hospital that they're in is only five minutes away from our house. So it's a lot easier to get to than where my sister was at the other hospital. But Anthony and I are so excited to go and see this new baby and get some snuggles. Um, my mom's gonna come and watch the kids so we don't have to take the chaos there. Who's the mom? But we're gonna um, see mom, him and mom? I'm so excited. Mommy, who's the mom? Ellie. Ellie? Yeah, Ellie is a mom now. So yay, congratulations to them. Us. I'll input um, video here of us going to visit little baby Camden. I'm so excited to oh, have a new here. baby. And now I have a nephew, my first nephew. And I have a niece and a nephew, and the boys have two cousins now. Mommy, so congrats to them. Mommy.